Dr. BT, look at that sunshine. It is yet another high UV index today, so it's the perfect time for Aurora to remind all parents about sunscreen. We've got pharmacist John Thompson from the medicine shop on how to do it right, especially when it comes to the youngest kids. How early in my child's life can I start putting sunscreen on them? Absolutely. We waited a long time for this weather, oh, but man. the weather is here, so great. How old? Uh, we don't recommend using a sunscreen up until six months. Okay. Uh, that being said, a lot of people ask me, John, you know, what do I do with my infant in the sun? First, most honestly, an infant shouldn't be in the sun in the first place. So it should, it's, the skin is, development is different. Uh, they burn a lot easier. Yes. Uh, the absorption for, for lotions or, or medicated lotions like sunscreen is different as well. Okay. So definitely not till six months, but still uh, preventative is still number one. For still got to be sun safe with the little ones. We Absolutely. just want to keep in mind that their skin is very different. In. Absolutely. Okay, so post six months, they want to head out to the beach and get in the sandcastle. What do we do then? Absolutely. So whenever I'm recommending uh, a sunscreen, which is common at this time of year, of course, uh, there's both three things I'm always looking for. I want to make sure it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. So I want to get UVA and UVB coverage out there. Okay. A lot of different SPFs out there, 15 all the way to 70. I usually recommend at least a 30 to get good coverage. Uh, and honestly, anything above 50, it's not really going to make a whole lot of difference after that. But get a minimal of 30. Okay. Third thing I'm always recommending, uh, get something that's water resistant. Because usually we're jumping in the water. Uh, it's a lotion, so it can wash off. Even if you're not jumping in the water and you say you're, you're hiking or going for a bike ride or running, uh, sweating kind of has the same effects as jumping in the water. It's washing off. So exactly, so get something that's water resistant. Okay, so we got all those things, then we gotta yeah. make sure we're applying properly. So uh, when do we put it on first off? Because a lot stuff. of parents forget this. Uh, that, absolutely they forget this, or they may not even know. And, and having the right product is only half of the battle, you gotta use it the right way. Yeah. So we want you to apply it 20 to 30 minutes before, because it has to be activated and binding to the skin. So 30 minutes before you even leave the house. If you do it at the beach, you're missing a gap there where you can actually burn before it actually starts uh, starts working. Yeah, it's half an hour or nothing. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and reapply. Reapply, reapply, reapply. Reapply every two hours if you can. Uh, if you are jumping in the water, reapply every 20 minutes. Uh, and the big thing too is a lot of people just aren't using enough as well. Okay, so, we so how much? Exactly. So, brought a little friend here, the shot glass. Shot glass is one ounce, which is 30 mLs. So it's a lot more than what people think. I'm just going to squeeze some in here if we can. So this is what, how much we want, head to toe, shot glass full. That's for my kid. My kids have that much sunscreen on. Well, for, for an adult, I mean, okay. uh, for, for an adult, for head to toe, uh, for a child, so, I mean, compensate for the size, right? But yeah, but still, it's a, it's a whole lot more than most it's people think. It's a whole lot more. Especially when you think about all those times, moms and dads, you know, you put a little bit in your palm. Exactly, you know, and they, exactly, and they do what? Usually the shoulders, the, the chest are good. People always keep forgetting, nose, uh, nose and ears very commonly burnt as well because people just aren't putting the lotion on them as well. Slap it on, mom, dad, slather them up and make sure you're using lots. Don't be if, shy. If the worst should be happening, exactly. If the worst should happen and we get the sunburn, then you've got some ideas when it comes to treating that. Problem. Absolutely. Uh, you know, of course, protect yourself, prepare yourself, but burns do happen, let's be honest. Sure. Uh, so the first thing you do, you come back from the beach, you're burnt, take some ibuprofen right away if you can. Okay. Pain reliever and anti-inflammatory, so it'll help you out right away. Uh, you can take two to 400 milligrams right away, then every six hours. I want you to hydrate your skin, uh, do a cool compress, uh, even a cool bath, cool shower. Get that moisture back in. Absolutely, something like aloe vera gel, a very good gel to help moisturize. And also it's, it's nice when your body's skin's tender, it's easy to apply as well. And hydrate yourself, lots of water as well. And so if it uh, ounce of prevention, power to cure is a lesson for you there from John Thompson. If you want all the links and all the information on Medicine Shop, you'll find it all on breakfasttelevision.ca. We're gonna check in with Courtney Kitchen. She's actually filling in for today for Drew Kozub, showing you how you can pamper your